right, so there you see the score. Triggers down one, Dynasty one, and West loves Dr. Pepper. We're here in DC for the Doritos Saturday night winner's bracket finals match. It's time for game number three as we load up the game type, guys. It is going to be oddball on Guardian. Scott, I know you got a favorite going into this matchup. Wait till we start the game, but I want to hear this inside information you got for me. Well, you know, I've just seen Triggers Down play this at the 16 lane, and they were very impressive. They just do a great job at holding Snipe Tower. All right, we're going to see how Dynasty counters Triggers Down. They have practice against this squad, and it looks like Clutch knew exactly what Best Man was going to do to start that game. He was looking for the lift. Destan's going to open up the game with a nice double kill on Snipe Tower, going for a third kill, and it looks like Dynasty might be able to steal Snipe Tower control early on here, Chris. Yeah, it does. Destin did a really nice play right there. Got a double kill with the guy top green, the guy going on camo, and now just took over Snipe Tower for his team. He's got the sniper rifle. Meanwhile, APG, his teammate, had camo. He was just taken out as I'm talking here. Snipe three. Destin, the last member alive, though, he's really got to stay alive and make sure the sniper rifle doesn't land in the hands of either Neighbor or his stereo. It would be dangerous for that squad. Yeah, what he should have done right there is put himself in a position where if he was getting shot in the back, he could just tr throw the sniper off the map. That way they did not have control of it. And it looks like Best Man is going to pick up that sniper rifle. And guys, remember what Best Man did on Narrows with this weapon. The kid can take faces. Clutch is going to shut him down before he gets a chance to do anything with it. And right now, it just seems like a skirmish. Neither team able to lock down control of the map so far. Yeah, but Dynasty just made an excellent push over the Snipe Tower. They killed every single one on Triggers Down over there. And now it's completely set up on Sniper. All right, and Scott, while you were watching the 16 land, what did you notice from Triggers Down? How do they retake the Snipe control? Well, you know, you're going to notice how Tots is jumping right now. And as he's doing this, Best man, or actually Neighbor, was supposed to be charging top middle, but I guess he missed that call. But normally, as Tots hits the lip, Neighbor goes top middle and then goes into snipe two. Well, check this out. Tots was able to stay alive, get up to snipe three, push down while Best Man cleaned up the kill on the oddball carrier. He picked up the play ball, and now we have triggers down just like that after 10 seconds, breaking Dynasty's setup, and now they're set up at Snipe Tower. And you gotta love how Hysteria plays that. A lot of times you see players get really anxious and try to nade the quick jump from blue to gold. You just sit at camo because you know it's coming up in, what, 10 seconds now? Yeah, and you also can bait, use your teammates to kind of bait the other team out for you, maybe pick up some easy kills. All right, so taking a look at the objective here, Tots is gonna leave the ball down on the elbow instead he charges into green to take down clutch make sure that there's no one from dynasty spawning there meanwhile destin just picked up the camo here for dynasty let's see how he plays this and guys let's actually listen in with the dynasty squad we'll come back in in about five minutes all guys one shot all guys one shot best man Green. I'm watching blue. Green. He's green. Watch your green. Watch your green. 
takes the lead here. We gotta Ooh. come back in. Tots doing work with his sniper rifle. And you know, that's something we expected to see out of Hysteria or Neighbor, but Tots was really pretty effective with that. Yeah, he's doing a good job. Most of the time, the main slayer, the people who aren't the main slayers who get the sniper actually do better on Guardian Ball because they like to sit on elbow, which gives you more cover. Yeah, a lot. there's a lot of good snipers in the league as well. It's not like Tots is bad with the weapon. And check this out, we got Clutch on your screen. He's got the camel coming up behind the TD setup. But guys, I want to know, Dynasty, they led for most of the game. How did TD come back? Well, you know, they did a good job at forming triggers down to go in, or Dynasty, into a bottleneck. They just did a great job baiting and switching into Snipe 2, and they just held that ball for as long as possible. And now that we're looking at the scoreboard, you see that Dynasty is actually picking up ball time. They're back on top, 114 and counting to 95. Chris, what's their setup looking like? Well, they're setting right up now at Snipe Tower, but Dynasty's been doing a great job this game of kind of keeping it chaotic. It seems that when it's going, when everything's kind of going haywire during the games, Dynasty always comes out on top. And that's what they've been doing this game. They've not tried to allow triggers down to set up and keep it kind of chaotic. APG getting taken down on Snipe 2. Clutch, the last member alive here for Dynasty, and he is also on Snipe 2, trying to prevent TD from setting up there at the Snipe Tower. And Clutch picked up a huge kill there on the ball carrier, but best man, he is going to lift over to support Neighbor, who's going to pick up that oddball. Yeah, but a good charge right here by APG. Just poured it up. Him and Hines just wiped out the Snipe Tower, and now they should be able to get the ball and possibly some more time. Nice double kill out of Hines, finishing the kill started by APG. Now he's grabbing that Sniper Rifle, and he almost got the spawn kill on Hysteria, who spawned bottom gold. He knows there's going to be players top gold, putting shots, unable to connect on any of those four. Maybe this next clip will be better, but they really need him to hit these shots to stop the rush that's coming from TD. They are sending all four super aggressively right now. That was a great move right there by Hines to pick up that Mar and pick up that double kill. And even with no shield, he has the confidence to poke out looking bottom green hit neighbor. And like I said, Dynasty's been doing a great job, again, making this game chaotic. They keep kind of dropping the ball, regrouping as a team, and now Hines is heating up. Sometimes Scopin's overrated. Almost got the stick there. Three down for TD. The last member alive was Hysteria, and he took down Hines from the power position. That was a huge play. But Clutch once again doing a great job with this camo. Coming up behind Hysteria, staying on the map when I thought he was going to fall, and he continues to put shots on players. Dynasty really clicking here, guys. And check out the score. 154 and counting to 99. Dynasty really impressed me in this game. That type. was an incredible play by Clutch. I can't believe he did it. And what's more up upsetting about that is he didn't even talk trash during that. I'm disappointed in him. <laughs> 
trying to get in the other team's head. Always oh, a good man, idea. There he is. There's the there trash he talk. Is. He heard you, Scott. <laughs> Four down, though, as Best Man picks up a huge triple kill here for TD. TD really needing to get a strong sniper setup or maybe even try and take it to blue because Dynasty seems to be able to break their sniper tower setup pretty easily so far. Yeah, with an aggressive, when you're going against an aggressive team, sniper control isn't really the best. You want blue because you have top middle, bottom middle, and camo lift, which is just a bottleneck and a death trap. You got Hysteria running the ball down to Tots, who's going to be down on the elbow. Best man taken out and snipe two. Neighbor and Hysteria, the last two alive. They're going up against three guys from Dynasty, and now that's going to be four dead as APG picks up the double. Make that a triple, actually. When I thought it was going to be four dead, APG pulls that out, guys. Huge play out of him. Both teams taking turns showing off. I know. Those were some perfect shots. APG is just a wrecking ball around this map right now. He's charging around, finding triggers down players that aren't even looking near him and just cleaning up a lot of kills. APG doesn't go for beatdowns. He goes for a headshot. Hines going to clean up that kill. 181 to 115. We are really just about 66 seconds away from Dynasty pulling this one out. And I'm amazed that the, all the ball time so far in this game has really come from the ball sitting in bottom green. We haven't really seen it at Sniper. We have not seen it at Blue or Gold yet. It's primarily been down in bottom tree. And right now, Dynasty looks like it be the better team controlling that. I'm going to have to agree with you there, Chris. I mean, the Sniper hasn't really been too much of a factor in this game type. And by the ball being bottom green, that gives Dynasty, the aggressive team, a huge advantage because they can just fly top middle. Yeah. 184 to 119. Sorry, as Triggers down retakes this ball. What were you going to say, Chris? I was going to say, I expect Triggers down to probably try to take this ball to blue or gold. I mean, obviously, bottom green and sniper tower isn't working for them right now. They need to change it up. And Dynasty really just trying to finish this one strong. Remember, whoever wins this game will be up in the series two to one in the best of five. Best man down low, have the sniper going for the no scopes. Hines says, no, I'll take that and your ball. And Hines going for the play ball, couldn't get it off the map, but four down as once again, we are seeing Dynasty come up with huge kills and just taking down triggers down when TD is looking like they have an impressive charge going. Yeah, when, when the kills matter, Dynasty is coming out on top. They are an extremely clutch team right now. It's almost like that FB game with Pit CTF with all the caps that they kind of came back on. Every time Triggers Down seems to have that control, seems to be about to pull away and get some time, someone from Dynasty makes a play. The ultimate underdogs this tournament, guys. One of these teams will advance to our championships. Earlier we saw Final Boss and Instinct, our top two teams all season long, basically. They will have to be duking it out in the loser's bracket for a chance to make it to the championships. But right now we are watching the winner's bracket finals, game three in the best of five series between TD and Dynasty. And right now Dynasty is really just about 54 seconds away from winning this game. Yeah, but right now Triggers Down does have this blue and gold setup. They've decided to change it up, and I'm guessing that they're gonna, that Dynasty's gonna have a harder time taking over this setup than they were green. And Scott, walk us through. What does TD's setup look like right now? All right, well, TD, you got the guy, you got Tot's bottom blue snipe lip, and he's getting ready to rotate right now because they lost control of the guy top gold. And now everyone just rotated the sniper, and now they're gonna get a good 10 to 15 seconds guaranteed just by rotating that ball and Dynasty's caught all the way on blue side. That was a great rotation. And now it's just a 25 second lead as Triggers Down cutting into that Dynasty lead here. Neighbor playing really well. Todd's picking up the ball and there's the team shot. Triple team there on Snipe 2 on Hines. And Neighbor on a spree and check that out. The new Sniper coming up. Thank you Bravo for the heads up. I'll take the double kill and the triple. That is the play that Triggers Down needed. Check out the score, guys. They're right back in it. And they're about to retake the lead as Tots makes his way to elbow with that ball. And Neighbor picks up yet another kill. He's going for the frenzy. Finally shut down by a nade from Destin. And Dynasty right away goes back to that objective, taking the ball into green. Yeah, they've been dominant there all game long. There's no reason not to take it back there again. And now the clock is up against Triggers Down. 90 seconds left on the clock. You have Dynasty. They just retook control. Destin waiting top middle, expecting a play ball. It never came. But as long as they keep TD away from that oddball, Dynasty is in a great position here. Yeah, and the thing about having the oddball down at bottom green, that is the worst spot to be on the map usually. 
And if there's a skirmish going on, it's going to be hard to even make it down there and even stay alive down there with the whole map converging. And now that we're down to the final minute, you got to take a look at what's going on here. Two guys just went down for TD. Neighbor gets the ball and plays it right as Trigger's down, takes the lead. Hysteria over at Blue. He's going to spawn the rest of his team there. And you have Dynasty, one player at Sniper, one player Snipe one, and APG went from top gold, grabbing the ball, and he just threw it down bottom green. And a smart play. He's trying to get it as far away from the the triggers down players as possible. Force them to come out top middle and make a play. And Tots is grabbing that ball once again for triggers down. They're trying to pick up some time. Bottom green here. Hysteria has to protect them. And the ball is played. Dynasty grabs it as Heinz picks up the double kill. This one coming down to the wire. We have 15 seconds left on the clock, and it's a two-second game. And great move by Destin, knowing what was oh. Oh, against him. He's going to get back smacked, though. Tots is going to grab the ball, and he jumps off the map and celebrates. And I think our referee there is going to and Todd's a little technical for that celebration. Todd's got to make sure not to cross that plane of the stage. But check a, take a look at the stats here, guys. Neighbor dropping a 30 bomb clutch with 31 kills. Both players going hugely positive. Triggers down, pulling it out just when I thought Dynasty had that one locked up. And the last time these two teams met up in that same game type, it was the same kind of outcome. They came in and they clutched it at the end. All right, so there is your scoreboard. Triggers down up two to one over Dynasty after an excruciating 15 minute game. Guys, we're going to a quick break. We'll be right back with game number four.